There's a short video about the Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga 11e and it's BIOS. Uh, when it boots, you tap enter to get to the startup interrupt menu. Um, this actually seems to work better after a restart. But anyway, once that happens, you get the menu you see at the moment. That counts down from about 15 seconds, so you press enter again to pause it, which is why it's still there. Um, pressing escape on this menu resumes normal startup. F1 to enter the BIOS, which will be in a second. F10 diagnoses hardware, so it's got built in hardware diagnostics. F12 uh, is to choose a temporary startup device, so you can boot from a USB stick, because this obviously has no CD drive. Uh, so if I press F1, we're in the BIOS. And the first screen is the main screen, which has um, information. You can't change any of the things on here. Um, you've got the BIOS version, controller version, TXE firmware version, machine model, system unit serial number, system board serial number. So lots of information. The interesting one is asset tag. No asset information on this particular model. If you're a school or a college or some education establishment or somewhere that wants to buy, say, I don't know, a thousand of these, I don't know the exact number, but say you want to buy a lot of these, then you can actually have asset tags added. Lenovo will add them for you, I think. Uh, CPU type, this is the Celeron N2930, uh, running at 1.83 gigahertz, 8 gig of RAM. Uh, there's the MAC address. Pre-installed OS license is there, so the OS um, Windows key is embedded in the BIOS. EFI Secure Boot is on. So this, that's just a summary. You can't change any of the settings on that page. Next page is config. There's the network, Wacom LAN, EUFI, IPv4 and v6, network stack settings, uh, PXE boot priority. Next one is USB, USB EFI support is enabled, always on USB, presumably that allows you to charge or a laptop shut down so you can charge your iPad or whatever. USB 3 mode is enabled because this one's got USB 3 in one socket. Keyboard and mouse, function and control key swap, function sticky key and F1, F12 as primary function. Um, F1, F12 as primary function means that you can either have it so that the F keys are F1, F2, F3, F4, or they do what the little pictures say, so increase the volume, microphone mute, brightness, that kind of thing. Um, these are disabled, so these keys will um, do the volume and stuff. Display, boot display device first is the ThinkPad LCD, or you can do HDMI. It's plugged into a tele or other device that takes HDMI things. Uh, power, speed step technology is enabled, mode for AC, maximum performance, mode for battery, battery optimized, CPU power management is enabled. You can also disable the built-in battery, which is an interesting feature. Remember, this is probably designed for the educational environment, so schools, colleges, universities, that kind of thing. So maybe turning the battery off. That'd be quite good because that way if it's on mains and you've got a Kensington it immediately powers down if they move it somewhere else. So there's lots of reasons why that setting's there. Um, it is unusual though, isn't it? Uh, beep and alarm, password beep is disabled, keyboard beep is enabled. Uh, date and time, it's the 26th of the 2nd, 2016 at 12.43. That's where you set that. Security, password, loads of these. Uh, supervisor. Um, lock the BIOS settings, password at unattended boot, password at restart, set minimum length, power on password, hard disk one password, so there's quite a comprehensive range of password options on there. Again, this reflects the educational um, channel for this particular device. EU FI BIOS update option, uh, flashing updating by end users, uh, secure rollback prevention, Again, that stops people um, mucking about with it if it's in a school environment. Uh, memory protection, execute prevention enabled. So it's got hardware uh, protection there. Virtualization, Intel virtualization technology uh, disabled, but it supports it. IO port access, Ethernet, wireless LAN, Bluetooth, USB port, memory card slot, integrated camera, and microphone. So you can turn off those in the BIOS, set a BIOS password so that the kiddie winks can't fiddle with it or turn the webcam on. 
for example. Anti-theft, uh, you can put CompuTrace details in. Uh, secure boot is enabled, platform mode, uh, secure boot mode, reset to setup mode, resell factory keys. Next thing is the startup, there's the boot menu, uh, Windows Boot Manager is the priority, You've got USB hard disk drive, um, there's the uh, SSD, uh, USB CD, USB for the disk drive or LAN, and uh, you can have network boot if you want lots of different options in there uh, boot mode is quick option key display is enabled boot uh, device list F12 option uh, boot order lock and then you've got restart exit saving changes exit discarding changes load setup defaults OS discard changes and save changes without exiting so quite a comprehensive range of um, options there so it's standard BIOS for a laptop with a few extra little additions to suit the educational sector it was designed for. Hope the video is helpful. Um, thanks for watching.